Hey sisters, Donna Parteo here, welcoming you to day 51 of our 90 day renewal in spirit, soul, and body. You know, lately I've been reading a bunch of books on living well and aging well. It must be the little gray hairs that I'm starting to have to pluck out in the morning. I'm just I'm not going to diet though. I'm not going to diet. When it gets to the point that I can't pluck them out, I'm going gray and I'm going to let it be a crown of glory. Mark my words. Hold me to it. In any event, I've been reading this book these books on aging well, and one I picked up at the bookstore was by Sally Beer, and she conducted research all over the world of people groups, you know, not just individual, but people groups who are known for living long lives, you know, 80, 90, 100 years, and, and living well, living well. You know, I, d I don't want to be 100 years old on tubes and life support and you no know, quality of life. I don't want that, and I don't think you want that either. So she researched people who are aging and aging well, and she put it all together in a book called The 50 Secrets to the World's Longest Living People. And so today I just want to throw out some of the tips. It was really cool for me because so many of the things that she uncovered, you know, with research and scientific stuff that God showed me and that I shared with you in becoming the woman I want to be. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to throw out some of these, and you can maybe write them down, jot them down, and pursue them. But um, eating smaller portions, that's a big part of the 90-day renewal. Drink plenty of water. Exercise, not too intense, moderate exercise, getting adequate sunshine. So get out each day and, or a few days a week and take a walk. There you go. Have faith. Laugh. Help other people. Don't be self-consumed. Help others. Have a happy marriage. A lot of stress in an unhappy marriage. Have a pet. See, I, that's why I have pet chicken in my backyard here in suburban Phoenix. People think it's crazy. No, it's my secret. My secret to living a long and, and happy life. Maintain good friendships. But it's important to be involved in a, in a Bible study and in your local church or even on our, our, our friendships that we have there as part of the 90-day renewal. The correct amount of sleep, neither too much nor too little. It's possible to sleep too much, and that's not good for you either. Very important for you to find the right amount of sleep. Supplement your diet. Again, you guys remember, I don't like vitamins, but I do like whole food supplements like Juice Plus or um, the Isogenics, um, Isofruits, or Isograins. Have five to serve five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables every day. If there's anyone who does not know that, I don't know. You must have checked out of the planet because we hear this at every turn, and yet how many of us really do it? Specific foods that she uncovered that are good. Let me just go through this. Whole grains and brown rice. Again, if it's white, it's probably not good for you. White flour, um, white sugar. You know, Usually that's bleach, and it's bad for you. Um, sprouted wheat bread, hemp. Do you know what hemp is? Isogenics actually has a hemp product. You might want to check it out. I think it's called Crunch. Um, meat as a treat. You know, you shouldn't have huge portions of meat every day with every meal. You know, meat as a treat. Beans, eggs, God's most perfect food. Nuts and seeds, extra virgin olive oil. I think I just did a whole day on that. Garlic and onion. A salad every day. Sweet potatoes, berries, yogurt, red wine, and green tea. Red wine and green tea. Now, of course, if you are from a denomination that um, teaches that you should not consume uh, any wine at all. Obviously, you'll want to strike that one from your list, but they, many studies have found that red wine in moderation is actually very, very healthy for you. Well, that's it for today. I hope that's helpful. I'm Donna Partout with your 90-day renewal in spirit, soul, and